These are the holy men whom the Lord chose in his own perfect love. To them he gave eternal glory. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Welcome to Mass today on this feast of Simon and Jude Apostles. Welcome to you if you're participating via the internet. As ever, we offer this Thursday Mass for those who support our town as tradesmen and women through the retail industry, through hospitality and in so many other ways. And let us also, as we celebrate a Feast of the Apostles, let us offer this Mass for those whose responsibility it is to find us a new diocesan bishop and a successor to Bishop Jonathan. As ever, we begin Mass by calling to mind our sins, our shortcomings, our lack of love. We say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In honour of Simon and Jude we say, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Jesus Christ himself as the chief cornerstone, so join us together in unity of spirit by their doctrine, that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. You are no longer aliens or foreign visitors. You are citizens like all the saints and part of God's household. You are part of a building that has the apostles and prophets for its foundations and Christ Jesus himself for its main cornerstone. As every structure is aligned on him, all grow into one holy temple in the Lord, and you too, in him, are being built into a house where God lives in the Spirit. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Their word word goes goes forth through through all the the earth. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. Their Their word word goes goes forth forth through all the the earth. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span goes forth through all the earth their words to the utmost bounds of the world. Their Their word word goes forth forth through all the earth. Almighty God, bless my heart and my lips, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We praise you, O God, we acknowledge you to be the Lord. The glorious company of the apostles praise you, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went out into the hills to pray. And he spent the whole night in prayer to God. When day came, he summoned his disciples and picked out twelve of them. He called them apostles. Simon, whom he called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He then came down with them and stopped at a piece of level ground where there was a large gathering of his disciples with a great crowd of people from all parts of Judea and from Jerusalem and from the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon, who had come to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. People tormented by unclean spirits were also cured, and everyone in the crowd was trying to touch him because power came out of him that cured them all. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. O oh Christ. Please sit down for a moment. So this is what this liturgical source says about Simon and Jude. Simon and Jude, as we've heard, were named among the twelve apostles in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark and Luke. Simon is called the Zealot, probably because he belonged to a nationalist resistance movement opposing the Roman occupation forces. There is no indication in the Gospels whether Simon moved from the Zealot party to be a follower of Christ, or, on the other hand, if he became a supporter of that group after the resurrection, seeing it as a response to God's call to proclaim the kingdom. Luke describes Jude as the son of James, while the letter of Jude has him as the brother of James, neither of which negates the other. It seems he is the same person uh, as Thaddeus, which may have been a last name. Owing to the similarity of his name to that of Judas Iscariot, Jude was rarely invoked in prayer, and it is likely that because of this, interceding through him was seen as a final resort when all other failed. He became known, therefore, as the patron saint of lost causes. I didn't know that. The two apostles had joined together on the 28th of October because a church which had recently acquired their relics was dedicated to their memory in Rome on this day in the 7th 
century. So on this day, let us pray first for the church of Simon and Jude in Rome and for all who will worship there today. And let us pray for all parishes and religious institutions under the patronage of St. Simon and St. Jude, especially for any known to us. And let us renew our prayers for the vacancy in C committee as it meets to consider a new diocesan bishop for us and for those whose responsibility it is to find a successor to Bishop Jonathan. Lord, in your mercy, as we pray for our world, we pray for those places where there is conflict and hunger and oppression. Think in particular of Afghanistan at this time. We pray for the leaders of the nations of this earth as they come together for the Climate Change Conference in Glasgow in but a few days' time. We pray for a response to the challenge of global warming. And we pray for our nation, for those who represent us in government, national and local, for honesty and integrity in public life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this town. We pray for its prosperity, for its peace. We pray for family and friends and for those who are in need. Claire, Dennis, Finley, Julie, Jill, Tony, Anne, Marjorie, David, Jane, Julia, Hannah, Terence, Dorothy, Mike, Liz, Joanne, Tim and Cecily. May all who suffer find healing and hope in the wounds of our blessed Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in year's mind, we remember James Harrington, Bishop, and Dorothy Walton. And we pray for all those whom we love but see no longer. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. And so we commend the living and the departed to Mary, the Queen of Apostles, as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. We pray for a moment in silence, offering to God our own personal prayers and the needs. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. We offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Please sit down for a moment. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself and shared in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. For God we ask you to receive. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church, as we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles, Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me.
the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice, made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, St John the Evangelist, our patron, the martyrs, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you for ever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in the one bread. Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him.
body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty God, who on the day of Pentecost sent your Holy Spirit to the apostles with the wind from heaven and in tongues of flame, filling them with joy and boldness to preach the gospel, by the power of the same Spirit, strengthen us to witness to your truth and to draw everyone to the fire of your love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God give us grace to follow his saints with faith and hope and love. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit come down upon you to dwell deep within you this day and forevermore. Amen. As is ended, go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.